with controlled substances in little baskets hung around their little gray necks. Now, uh, some of the colored prisoners had a problem with, uh, you know, with narcotics. And uh, from time to time, why they'd want to, you know, snort up a little some Drano or whatever it was that old Charlie Rat, that's what we used to call him, Charlie Rat. Charlie Rat was bringing it in. And uh, for all I know, uh, it was a good thing, you know, because it let the boys blow off a little steam and, and the guards, they used to be so happy to see one of them colored uh, prisoners uh, writhing on the floor of his cell <clears throat> in agony. I remember the smile that Butch used to get on his face. He was one of them sadistic crackers that used to like to work in the federal prison system. Old Butch, he, uh, he didn't talk much. Didn't want to interrupt the drooling. But every once in a while, he'd come out with a corker. And uh, I, I guess it was Easter, 1900, and, oh, I don't know, 1973, thereabouts. It was the year my parole was denied. The, third time, so I guess that'd be about right. And old Butch, well, uh, Butch and a couple of his buddies there in the cell block D, they, they were staging some little, uh, little prize fights for the amusement of the guards. And, uh, now, uh, Normally, uh, in a prize fight, you have two fighters, but that wasn't good enough for old Butch. He liked to have, uh, you know, four or five men go on one other man and just beat the hell out of him. Now, uh, you know, Raj, I'm not, I'm not getting any drums in these headphones. Why is that? Help me, Jesus. And, uh, you know, the other thing there. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Come here, come here, Rod. Since you're here, since you're here, I want to show you something. Come, come, Raj, come on in here a second, though. No, Raj, can you hear me? Come, come in here a second. I got to show you something. This, Hello?